The party still finds itself deep within the city of Omu, continuing to search the various shrines, seeking out the puzzle cubes for whatever they might be. They know there are others, though, that seek the same treasure. Where shall they head next? So, what now? Temple just we just have, finish. We, we never finished it. We still never got the key out of it. <laughs> oh, yeah. We were going to wrap did. it up and... Yeah, you know, I thought we wrapped it up and brought it yeah, up. We wrapped it up for the bathroom for the best of epic. You got it out because you got uh, Shadow Scale. At the end, you got Shadow Scale un... Petrified. Unpetrified. And immediately made her drop the puzzle. Oh, the cube. Yeah. That was eight. Yeah. And then she got it out. Well, you, you ended with Shadow Scale standing outside, and you had it in your hand when they brought you your statue self outside. Someone's not cursed anymore. <laughs> well, I guess we don't know. Someone pick it up. Let's not find out. Touch it. You touch it. Lick it. As I was asking, if anybody had something to wrap it up in, let's wrap it up. My hands. Those do not count. Talk My arms. Clobs. Fabric. Something <laughs> not you. Damn. <laughs> so whose temple was this? Uh, this was the temple of... Iwi Du. Obolaka. Uh, E, bitch ass motherfucker. Uh, I mean, I guess I have an adventurer's pack that didn't have anything in it. Oh, explorer's pack. You could throw it in that. Not in your kobold pocket? No. <laughs> Plenty of those, but apparently I can't use me. Suppose we're also going to have to explain why Harmony's not with us since Eku is here. That would probably be a question. She unfortunately met her end for Frog Hemoth. Great, so I want to ask her about curing my social anxiety. <laughs> also, it seems that <laughs> Shadow Scale is quite attached to our newest member, but I do not know why. We're friends. She might be the best thing that ever happened to me. It seemed uh, to have started after a mist. She tells you that she cannot help you right now. I I don't need them. I'm perfectly fine the way I am. And perhaps she is. As long as my druid's next to me 24-7. Never leaves my outside. Well then, if you wish to go and return to the others, you may. We have more business to conduct here. Then she agrees and she will start making her way back out. Also, you can inform Shibara and. What was the other one? Oh, uh. Shibara and Kwani. And Kwani that Harmony has passed. Well, it's their fault for not coming here. <laughs> no, don't ask me. <laughs> They'll already know. You are terrible. But I suppose our next. Place to head to is probably here. Couple. Where to? Alright, you're going to head that direction. What time and, of day was it? Um, you headed over here relatively early, and you took some time to figure out what happened to uh, Enushada, but you never picked up her trail. And then you went over here. So by the time that you leave, it'd probably be about noon. Well, technically did, but we lost it the water. Yeah. Nonetheless, you begin heading west. Well, as you begin to head over, uh, it does not take you long before you are met by another group standing in the street. I mean, do they obviously see us? Oh, they do. We mug them. I'm going to wave at them. Like, just like, hey. They Greetings. do not wave back. Assholes. So now we muck them. <laughs> uh, I'm going to turn to um, old man Jenkins. Uh, is that your group over there? They most certainly are not. Okay, good. <clears throat> what do they look like? Uh, most of them appear to be just normal humans, but you notice that one of them has a... Uh, let me double check. One of them has a snake head. Oh, but the rest appear to just be a group of normal humans. Hmm. So you you know you encountered some of the Yuan T before. This appears to be a Yuan T with a group of various people. Hmm. Well, until they make a move on us, I suggest everybody ready themselves. Yep. Let's go over and say hi. 
I'm at this Well, if my druid thinks that well, it's I already a good tried idea to say I, <laughs> I already tried to say hi. And they, mm, but like, she's the smartest yeah. person to ever exist. So I almost got you killed. Intelligently. <laughs> and then she hugged me right after. All is forgiven. Yeah, I mean, I was not thinking clearly, and I apologize greatly for, for that. Nah, don't worry about it. It's all cool. Well, I mean, they're in the direction we're heading, so... Yes, they are essentially blocking your way. Well, I'm gonna keep walking. Alright, you keep walking. Like, until I get, like, 15 feet to 20, them if they're 20 feet. Yeah, 20 feet. Alright. Well, you get there, and the one with the actual snake head steps forward and holds up a hand. Shake it. No, it holds up like a hand as in to halt. Shake the snake Still stick at him. It. Oh, it's just like, <laughs> shake it. We're 20 feet away. My arms are not that long. <laughs> Stretchy arms uh, and extendo fingers. He'd be like, yes. You are trespassing in the realm of Rasnissi. A look at the professor. Yep, I heard it. And you've taken things that belong to our lord. Were well, your names on it? All that is within this realm belong to our lord. <clears throat> oh. I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna quietly just turn to the professor. Can I kill him? Go right ahead. I ain't stopping you. He says he serves Rusty. Uh, oh, and I look at um, um, where's those things? Uh, hand out. Okay. Um, things. What were those ones? Okay. Uh, I'm going to uh, like as he says that. I'm going to uh, cast fireball and expend okay, one then. of my fire opals on like the center of the group. And yeah, make right. a death save of eighteen. All right. All right. Can I change this? Now? No, I can't change this. So, how much damage is your fiber? What? Also, doesn't he technically have to make an attack roll with that? No, it's no. a deck save with a fireball. Yeah. Okay. That's um, quite fiery. Yep. Right. Uh, now I need to get another note. Where's my sticky notes? Okay. Yeah. Now I have only ten fire opals. Pretty, pretty cool. You no, know you could make. What was that? You're cutting out. You can make like you a can picture. Make a thing. Just do like a picture and then black them out. Oh, you can do like little item things. Yeah. I have a bunch of here. Well, well the uh, fireball explodes amongst them, and you see several of them get very badly burned. And as such, they get ready to fight. Icarus, I thought you were going to kill Hip. No, I said kill them. Wouldn't that have been considered a surprise round? No, because now they are ready. Damn. Where am I? Right there I am. Because right. you're the ranger? Yeah. Well, Wouldn't that have to be your friend? Be the ranger. I assumed you'd be leading the way. I don't know which place. I thought Eku left. Oh, you're right. She put me right I'll next take her to the, Right next to the druid. Where I belong. Uh, let's see, I, was, I would have been up because I was 20 feet away from them. Well... The one in front with the snake head immediately just like runs forward. No! <laughs> to Igris. Do it. And it starts by trying to stab at you with its scimitar. What is your armor class? Uh, 17, it should be. Yes. Your 17. armor protects you from its blade, but not from its bite. Oh, yeah. And then I, I am I do have my shield equipped it and I do just let you know negates crits. Alright. Well, you still took five piercing and two poison from its bite. Aren't you okay. flaming too, Tyler? Technically cast a fire spell. Nope, that wasn't my um, That was spell, an item. Was my hel my oh. helm of brilliance. Uh so what how much did you say? Five Five piercing and two poison. But that brings us to your turn. Okay. Um I am going to... I don't like him being so close to me. All spells will be... I am going to use my... Um, cannon. I'm going to make my cannon. Small cannon on my shoulder. Just pops right. up. It's going to be the... Well, I'll still go with the ballista. And then... That's bonus action. I am going to... 
use it. Where's my roller? Kitchen. Oh, oh. Does that hit? That definitely hits. <laughs> Takes 11 damage. It is pushed five feet back. Now, technically, Joe, wouldn't I get an opportunity to attack since it left my attack range? No. You no. didn't shoot, leave. Oh. Well, you have you to choose. Him. If they Before. try to move away without oh, disengaging. Yeah. Okay, well, you, now I'm going to move away. <laughs> yeah, if you it's a, if you push someone away, you don't get to then make an opportunity attack. Technically, I didn't push them, though. Doesn't matter. <laughs> I know. And that's going to be my uh, turn there. All right, Professor. You know how easy it would be to set up a kill line of people with Sentinel and then shoot someone through the kill line? <laughs> that, that would be a little OP. But anyways, I suppose I'll follow suit with Ignis lead, targeting this one. Targeting which one? That one. Okay. Alright, so another fireball. Murdick Steves. That was, some, that was some good fireball damage there. Well, you see every single one of these ones back here turn to ash. So we'll now turn to the Yuan T and uh, do we wish to continue now? He simply hisses and bears his fangs at you. Well, Erd, he's all yours. I'm glad he said that. Erd? <laughs> oh, uh, I do. I was gonna say, there's cicadas here now? Cicadas sound completely different from that. Okay. That's a cicada. Yeah, close enough. Oh! No, it's not! My sword! You hit him! I was thinking cicada too, so. Thank you, Kelly. <laughs> Do people not know what cicadas sound like? They, they buzz, they rattle. I was good. I try not to listen to him. I should say, when you only hear him once every like 17 years, you know. Mm. Hit him again. Well, another 10. You don't get I any suppose. extra word. I, I, I suppose I'm just going to fight him. Going to a frenzy. Got lizard on snake action here. <laughs> I'm betting on the lizard. Uh, all right. With that, Erd bites and rips his throat out. I feel like me using my turret was a little uh, unnecessary this round. <laughs> I, uh, I seem to agree with you on that one. I was just like, well, Salmon's always complaining that I don't use my turret, so I was just like, yeah, let's use the turret. Three people into the initiative, just dead. I mean, they weren't exactly a particularly tough group. And then you hit him with two, two fireballs. fireballs. <laughs> yeah, I think it was the fireballs that really did it. 37 and 30. Yeah. They would have had some decent action economy going on. But oh, yeah. Didn't matter anymore. I suppose search the bodies that we can, if there's anything left. Uh, um, well, the main one had. Oh, it looks like they're all just carrying uh, bronze scimitars. Hmm. None of them really had much of anything else. Worthless. Alrighty, then we continue on our way. <laughs> Alright. I wonder if they had, like, a campsite or something, because, I mean, wouldn't it make. I mean, there's more than. There's multiple groups out here looking for keys, apparently. Yeah. All right, Joe, just let me know when cool. it's been over an hour. Then my they turtle they will live here. Or, people live here. Activate. Well, you get to the uh, next area that you were looking at. You get to this place. But upon arriving, you find that the doors two very large stone slab doors uh, with swirly carvings decorating two obelisks at the entrance and an overgrown courtyard under the shade of some tall palm trees but the doors to the entrance are standing open and not only that there's a body that is currently affixed to one of the nearby trees Waiting for Christmas a bit early, I see. What is Christmas? I don't know. I'm gonna go make, look at the body. You, you just make it, up words now. It, it's a teeth thing, fairly. Speed. Speed. Oh, day. What does a body look like? Uh, you get closer, and it appears to be 
uh, a human wearing red robes and completely shaved bald. <clears throat> Orvex, is this your friend? Orvex, that that? yes, that is one of the red wizards. Um, it appears that the party has encountered some kind of danger here. And also, now that you've approached it, it's obvious that uh, the body is nailed to the tree on the western side of the tree, and it's got its right arm nailed pointing to the north. So I think it wants us to go in the building. Well, we can, uh, when we leave this place, we will take him down and at least give him somewhat of a proper burial, burning. Well, you, uh, you approach the shrine, and it appears that the roof of this place collapsed long ago, and now a thick mass of plants grow from the rubble. Through the mass, you see hundreds of iron keys hanging from hooks on the wall. Um, some of them are bent and broken, others are rusted beyond repair, but most of them look relatively serviceable. Hmm. Do we have any plaques to read before? You don't see any. Well, Carly. Well, I guess I shall enter first. I thought you said we not going to do that anymore. Especially yeah, since he said it's covered in plants. I, I just like... Uh, Go ahead if you really want to. I don't see you walking ahead. It's covered in plants. But I'll walk ahead. Starts walking ahead. I'm going to grab your shoulder. Stop you. I'm going to step in the building, Joe. Oh, I guess while he's doing that, I'm going to ask Orvex uh, if any of the tales of the gods had something to do with keys. No, not that I recall. Alright, you step into the building. There's tons of keys. Do I see anything else? Uh, you notice that there's also some keys on the ground and some of the hooks are empty. I mean, it would make sense to put the keys back where they belong, right? You know, I think that this building is key to us finding another key. Please go jump off the ledge. <laughs> I don't know, with all these keys, I think I might unlock a new set of jokes. No? Oh, is anybody else going to walk in here? The key component. Ah, that was a good one, yeah. I'm going to slowly walk deeper in. Oh, it's that small. You know, the, uh, the big map picture did not make it seem like it was this small. Ah. You went into the open... Well, they're both open, actually. You went into the overgrown smaller building that you ran into first, then there was a secondary larger building. I I didn't see that smaller building on the map. I thought I was going to the big building. Ah, what do other people do as Igris investigates the side building? I go with first. (laughs) All right. You enter a large shrine. A statue of a giant snail looms before you. But in place of antenna, it has five pseudopods ending in rocky clubs. Along the walls, there are small niches above stone plinths. And behind the statue is a carved carved pedestal in a wide alcove with a key set into its base. There are also three dead creatures lying on the floor. Mm. Yeah, someone's clearly been here. I guess I'll go inspect that key. Alright. Well, there is a key stuck into the hole at the base of the pedestal. Can I turn it? Yeah, you can turn it. And I'll turn it to the right. Uh, you hear the sound of mechanisms from inside the pedestal, but it doesn't seem like anything really happens. Hmm. Well, that's about everything I got. <laughs> Anyone else do anything? I'm gonna walk out of here. Go to the big building. All right, you go over to the big building. Now, do I, since Shadow Skill ran in there? Of course I did. Why would I not go over and look at this niche? All right. Uh, you notice that some of them have keys hanging from them. So some have keys, some don't. I mean, is there be... something in here that looks like it could use a key? Well, the only thing in here that looks like it could use a key has a key in it. There is a keyhole in the bottom of the pedestal that Shadow Scale's at, but there was already a key in it. So let's take the key out and try a different key. 
Mm-hmm. Sounds like a good idea, best friend. I'll take out the key. <laughs> Alright, you take out the key. I'll take one of the other keys and put it in. Alright, you take out one of those keys and you put it in. And I turn it. Alright, everyone make deck saves. Let's no. sit down. Is it me? Everyone uh, that is in the room. Oh, oh wait. Yeah, you're still in the building. I'm going to give myself a plus four. All right. So as you put the key in and twist it, you see a uh, dazzling light start to appear in the shell of the snail statue when suddenly beams shoot out in multiple directions. Yersa, the professor, and Igris all get hit. And each of you takes 27 radiant damage. Hey, don't turn any keys. I must agree with this. Ouch. We should probably Maybe ask. Somebody already got this key too. We should ask OFX first about the snail. Yeah, isn't there usually like a plaque or something on the outside that he reads to us? There wasn't mm. though. Not every time. There hasn't been a plaque on every single one. Some of them just had artwork. But nonetheless, what do you do? Uh... Well, I think we need to go back down and ask about the snail. Do you go ask Ordovex? Yeah. All right. Well, he recounts the story of the various gods. Specifically, though, he does skip to the part about the uh, the snail. That unkly, frail snail lived in the earth, and the noise of all the other animals fighting made her come up to the surface. And as the sun dawned over her shell, the light blinded Umtau, and making his eyes water, life returned to Obu. I hope that helped. So we should cry on the snail. (laughs) Yeah, it's like he's gonna cry on the snail. (laughs) I'm just gonna sprinkle some water on the snail. Alright, you sprinkle some water on the snail. Nothing happens. Yeah, worth a shot. Uh, I'm going to uh, use cure wounds on myself. Alright. Nice. I'm going to take out the old key and put the or take out the new key that we put in, put in the other one that I took out. All right, you put that key in, and once again you hear clacking and clicking noises from inside the pedestal, but nothing seems to happen. Don't turn the key. Hmm. So how many uh, keyholes are there? There's one. How oh, one? Maybe maybe other keys do different things. I think if we're going to turn keys to minimize damage, mage there hand. should only be yes, mage hand and nobody in here. So I say we should collect all the keys, and then I will cast mage hand. <laughs> Spend her. all day using mage hand. <laughs> well, mage hand lasts for a while. Yeah, no, I'm not saying it wouldn't last. We're just gonna sit here for a long time trying to keep. Well, last I guess it lasts a minute. But that's still enough to, you know, just have all the keys sitting below the keyhole. Have to pick up one, put it in, turn it, see what happens. Does anybody have obje- uh, objections uh, to that? We should first try out a different key to see if something else happens. Before we go about gathering all these keys. Up. I'll take out the old key I just put in and keep it with me. Alright. I'm going to grab one of the other keys that are around. All right, you grab another key from one of the other niches that has one. Then I will vacate the area. Okay, I am going to, uh, yeah, well, y'all need to move out of the doorway so I can at least be there to cast Mage Hand. Just check it. So, yeah, I will cast Mage Hand, give it the key, and go to put it in the keyhole and turn it. All right. Um, You are more than 30 feet away from it. Where is the keyhole? At the base of the pedestal. Oh, see, so because Kelly was right here when she had said that, so I didn't know it was over there. I thought it was right. over here. She gave it to Shadow Scale. Okay, well, I will go in here, and and this is the snail. Yes, this is the statue of the snail. Can this I is hide where... behind here? Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna hide behind the pedestal and have my mage hand put the key in. All right. And turn it. You put the key in. The shell suddenly starts to glow. Make a deck save. Yeah, I kind of figured hiding doesn't do anything. Nope. I was behind. Yeah. I was behind. 
continually. Going down, guys. Uh, you take a total of 34 radiant damage as multiple beams hit you. And I am down. Yeah, Need better deck saves. I feel like there's a better way of doing this. We just haven't thought of it yet. Well, nobody said anything when I made my idea. Now, Joe, did you say that the body was pointing directly north, or was it actually pointing towards the, the building itself? I mean, it was pointing north. So it, it was on this tree, and it was pointing north. Uh, I guess around that area. See, and that's why I thought I was going to the building, because it was pointing towards the building. Yeah, it was, it's on the tree, and it was pointing this way. Well, I see water. Maybe we're supposed to flood it. And these, there's these little lip things in the wall. I think you just want an excuse to use your uh, decanter. It could be a lot of things, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it's an actual idea. <laughs> Everyone <Somebody> out! <laughs> Get out! <laughs> For some know. reason, Shadow Scale keeps demanding to flood every room we walk into. <laughs> I'm sure I'm going to regret leaving them alone, not watching her. And I uh, run away. Okay. <laughs> um, is anybody gonna pick me up? <laughs> she hit I did, hand. I gave you 13 healing. Oh. Well, you didn't say it, I was looking over here on my sheet. Yeah. Do I see anything as I get closer to the pool of water? Nope. F water. Looking to the pond. Roll perception. I'm going to go out. Now is this just like a really shallow pond, like water, rainwater? Yeah. Okay. It's about an inch or so. It's a bunny! I forgot that that was there. I still pet. It's a second bunny! I still pet. Those have been falling around Yersa. Well, it doesn't look like there's anything around the building. Nope. You don't find anything back there. And the Shadow Scale pets the El Mirage. Well, I guess I will explain our situation with Warbex. See if he's got any clues. Well, it would seem that... Let's see, the creatures in there are already dead, and there was already a key in the hole. I think someone else got here first. Did say that. Did you look in the pedestal? You mean look in it? Me look in a pedestal? Oh, was cute. We've had this before. <laughs> Pretty sure the cube is always on top of the pedestal. Oh, so the one with the spears had it inside. Yeah, okay, but if someone went to the trouble of unlocking it, why would they leave it in there? Inside. I will look in the pedestal and see if there was an opening. Uh, make an investigation check. Uh, there's definitely a uh, portion of the pedestal that came up through it and is now at the top. Oh, that's so you came too late. Yeah, I I've also told you. Don't mind me. I'm just petting both rabbits, but they're both five feet apart, so I have to keep going back to the book. <laughs> well, then it seems that our cube is not here, so we shall continue onwards. Or do we still wish to take down the body? So, how many cubes are we missing now that we've been to temples for? Three. We're missing three cubes? Nan Nan, the ape, and now the Flesnel. Yeah, but I thought we went into one and the cube was already gone. And it's the missing cubes. That doesn't add up to that. Mm -hmm. Hey guys. Yeah, so we have five cubes. We're missing three. There's still one temple we haven't gone to. I have 69 max HP. <laughs> nice. Nice. Just dashing between the rabbits even faster, petting them both. <laughs> Shadow Scale, just pick them both up. Will they let me? Uh, you try and pick them up. One of them. Uh, they hop away. No! You did this! <laughs> you monster! Me, me. So what's the thought about this, Professor? I stated my thoughts. We continue on. I pull up my entrance to can't these okay. guys are out there. <laughs> <laughs> not actually doing that, are you? No, I'm doing it. Right, what, what are you doing? Because I'm kind of cut out there. Using his endless decanter? 
I'm gonna step over here. Make a DC 13 strength. <laughs> she actually hit me with it. Do a geyser. Make a DC 13 strength. Same throw. Just fucking jump. <laughs> Oh! Ah, like oh! Oh! Wow! Is that half damage or no damage? Uh, no, it never does damage. Oh, so he just gets out of the way? Or he? No, he I just, guess he just takes it. He just He's, takes it. <laughs> takes he braces himself. He Shadow must have knew it was coming. Do you want to it explain stop yourself until my this. next turn? Sam, it's gonna keep going. <laughs> He's still standing there while trying to talk. You gotta have to make another throw. <laughs> Whoa, it's dead! <laughs> I'm just gonna keep Whoa. going down the wall. What is. <laughs> the professor keeps taking a step closer each time. Black magic! Are you done yet? <laughs> you underestimate his power. <laughs> I'm raging. <laughs> what? what is number four? <laughs> My explodey flumps. <laughs> hey, flump appears wait. behind you, Sam. <laughs> I'm just watching this from a distance. Ends turn. Make your strength throw and dex throw. <laughs> oh. Yeah, well, your dex throw's fine. But you do get knocked down. And then I stop shooting water. <laughs> What was your reasoning for that? You made the bunnies hop away. And you have now made me soaked with water. I could dry that for you. You are not helping me. Just take your clothes off, you'll be fine. Nobody wants to see that. The Nala takes a step closer. <laughs> Hildgar takes a step back. Just get walks away, I bonk her on the head. Hildgar takes a moment to start paying very close attention to the shrubbery here. While Zendala takes a step forward with a kind of wry grin on her face. <laughs> I didn't force her pose. There. Mm. Try and bonk me on the head. I did. Beat a 19. No. I didn't. <laughs> Alright, fine. Are we done goofing off now? Probably. Then let us continue. So what are you doing now? Until the next temple possible right. location I mean, we're in a jungle you can't tell me you're not relieved it's sprayed with 30 pounds of water per second actually in a town 30 gallons of water per second for now it's only more seconds leave our next location if we wish to go to we'll be over here unless you wish to go there first well, I mean, kind that tree point way. north, so should we check one of these buildings behind it? Or the person on the tree point north? Sure, we could. Um, yeah. I guess we'll do that first, then. We'll head to that building there, check it out. Alright. Uh, inside the building, you find odd tracks, as well as what appears to be the remnants of a camp of some kind. Oh, no, I've tracked. No, oh, hold on a second, hold on a second. Are we in a room? I pull up my hands to can't do. <laughs> Put it away. <laughs> there are some walls and some ceilings. Wait. Only one ceiling. <laughs> yeah, but yes, nonetheless, there appears to have been a camp made in here. But uh, make survival checks. <laughs> Or investigation. Survival or investigation. Also, did we get any XP from last session? Oh, uh, I think I may have forgotten to do that. What is with the professor and all of his crits tonight? Yeah, I don't know what's going on. He's cheating! He has the computer. Well, I call cheats. Hey. Well, the professor, Igris and Erd, uh... Yorisa, you can figure out generally that something went down here, but you're not quite sure what. Probably some kind of combat. But uh, Igris, the professor, and Erd know for sure that whoever was camped out here got attacked and looks like was probably dragged away. Erd, can you follow the tracks? I could. 
Can I have a tax bill? Yes, you can. Oh. You start following them, and it heads east. You keep following the tracks until eventually you get to the gate of the large circular portion of the city. Uh, well, of course. They lead in there. Well, <sighs> do we wish to attempt the last, go for the last temple, or go in there? That's probably where you gotta bring all the cubes. Mm-hmm. I mean, uh, I say we could go in there and then come back out for the last temple, because I think whoever's in there might be, I don't know, I feel like it's, we should go in there. I agree Keep with her, there. she has the best ideas. You know what? I'm pretty sure she should actually be our leader. I agree with Shadow Scale. No. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I think it, it would be best to go to the temples first. I seem to agree with that. That um, way we're not backtracking too much. In case the other cubes wind up in the hands of what I'm guessing will be the UNT. We'll just split the party. That you are not, not doing you. <laughs> yes, make all the mistakes my Thursday night regularly does. Yeah, I know. Never split the party. I'm well aware. It's not a joke. Only that, not only that, my Thursday party makes a lot of bad decisions. <laughs> as we've learned with our kill count now being up to 15. Uh, I think we should head back down over to the last temple. What time of day is it now? Uh, it's about 1.30 going on 2. Should be plenty of time to go. Let's check here. And there was nine temples, right? Yes, there is. Nine temples for the nine gods. Yeah. Wonder which one this was. So we had the. I don't remember all the things. We're gonna get over there. <clears throat> so are you guys going back to that other one? Yes. All right. You head that direction. A column of rock rises 200 feet above the lava. A walled ruin overgrown with palm perches on the summit. How far is it across? Uh, you would guess at least 100 feet. How about how far down? Oh, easily two to 300. Well, it did, he did say that it's 200 feet above the lava. Yes. So if you fall in, good luck to you. Yeah. What's with that sound? Is this all throw over lava? Or is this a little ledge like the show right here? That dropping sound sounds like the special victims unit. Law and order. Yeah. What dropping sound? The boom boom. Oh. It's like a, a sound that in plays. the In the music. Is that actually their drill? It's a little ledge? Uh, what? no. Well, yeah. There is actually right in that spot between where you stand and the pillar, there is some uh, rocky outcropping where there's not lava, but it would still be a 200 foot fall. How far do you fall? It's like how like fast and all that. But Ur doesn't fall. He just walks 60 down. feet per turn. But Ur just walks down the side of the cliff. You're going to walk down the side? Yeah. All right, as you start going down, it starts getting warmer as you get closer to lava. Yeah. yeah. I think you can survive the heat. I have to walk all the way though. Is it 100 feet across? It is roughly 100 feet across, yes. How far can, it, how far can you jump? Uh... It's a strength. E yeah, equal to like your strength modifier, number of feet. I have two. So <laughs> you could jump roughly five feet. Well, I do have a little so I'll jump triple a bit. Well, then you could jump 15 feet. <laughs> Can't you hover with your bugs now? I can. I also have, I also use a, a five speed, <laughs> ten feet. That always lasts um, a hmm. limit. Nope. But I can do it three times. So, but I still ain't gonna make it. You can technically can make it then. It's a hundred foot gap, right? Yep. Let's, 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 Shadow scale and myself can fly. With a fly speed of ten. I mean, but if we took the time. We could fly back and forth carrying one person at a time. Yeah. You can carry people, Professor? <laughs> <laughs> I don't, I don't with, trust the Professor with my life. Yeah, that's the funny uh, part. No. Oh. The rolls he's been making. Is there any trees on that island? There are some trees, yes. Wait, uh, well, I don't know. 
tie an arrow and shoot into the tree. That I don't think that'd be too sturdy. I was gonna say we could have the professor fly over with a rope. Oh yeah. Yeah. And then tie it to a rope on this side. No, I mean Adam, tie it to like do, the do you have a hundred foot rope? I have a fifty foot rope. And there it should be. Did you see our fifty foot rope? I don't have my 50-foot rope because you guys used it in one of our last... I have 50 feet of rope, so let's Does anybody together. else have any rope? I you'd do. Still, and you'd still end up with but, less than 100 yeah, uh, yeah. I was going to say, we're going to need a third rope so we have extra to tie against the trees. Head rope? I have nothing. We know you have nothing. That's why I wasn't asking uh, you. Let's see what I have about anyone else. Um, okay, hold on a second. No. What if I turn in like into like a giant eagle or something? Would that be able to carry people? Yeah, the eagles can carry people. Then why couldn't they carry them to you know Mount Doom? Because they were trying to be secret about it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I know. And then the moon went over. So she could turn into an eagle, fly over, fly back, and all they have to pick up, you know. I mean, I figured probably you know the professor could carry uh, Sundala. <laughs> Though, actually, now thinking, I don't know if I'd want that because he might just be like, "Oh shit, drop." We can't train the <laughs> Uh Oh, you turn into I'm a giant eagle then? Not built for carrying. I people. sure will. He was he was waiting to ask you that Rhea affirmation so he yeah. so could find it. She's now the coolest. Now you see a bug effect. Second to, you know, Shadow's yeah, I get a bug effect when I use bugs. There we go. That's a mosquito, but... <laughs> That's all I got! Was that a swarm? They gave me a small dog yipping in the background. <laughs> I don't think I've got that. Damn. I begin flying over. Alright. Uh, Too good for the eagle, huh? <laughs> Well, Zendala starts flying over as well. I will start with Shadow Scale. Yay! Can fly, though. She can fly! Well, yeah, but only once. <laughs> you only need once right now! <laughs> yeah, but what if it's useful for combat? Oh! <laughs> I can't. Whatever. And so I'll just I'll bring everyone else over. Um, now, what's right. your fly speed? What's your fly speed as a giant eagle? Uh, 80 feet. Oh, I actually can do it easy. Uh, Ordovix states that he would like to stay where he is. Well, Ordovix just called himself a little pussy. He is perfectly fine with being thought as... No, <laughs> didn't say that. Well, <laughs> hopefully we won't need translation then. We have that... those stones that you have. We right? have the cubes. Yeah, you can stones. translate, it just won't be as... You'll have to, like, try. It won't be we'll automatic. Take time. I'll just whip out my handy dandy notebook. Pull out my Omuin stones. Let us do this. So I'm guessing we all get across safely. Yes, you do. A little toasty over here. I don't know what you're talking about. Walk a bone. I live in these kind of situations. Yeah. Well, should probably heal up some more. Uh, palm trees grow in front of the squat building, and worn steps ascend to an archway that forms the entrance. Reliefs of coiled serpents flank the entrance. Hmm. So this is the Chikuni one. It would seem so. Well, once once I land and stuff, I'm gonna cure wounds on myself again. Look, look for the black. And I am going to head over here and ask for the Omoan stones. I'm going to walk over there to the plaque. All right. And pull out you the stones. You walk over, you pull out the stones, and look at a blank obelisk. <laughs> Is there one on the other one? Nope. Oh, that looked like it was... You guys are dumb. Well, the shadow, the, the plaque. How about a step in? They're always black. You go to like right there. All right. Give me just a second. <laughs> yeah. What is this? Follow the leader? Doing the conga? Well, no, I just follow her wherever <laughs> she goes. Yeah, I know. She's my best friend, you know? No, we to my I didn't know. Besides, gets my will. I like her, but I'm, I wouldn't call her my best friend. <laughs> well, we all get to about here. Yeah. We came from the airway. 
I'm aware, but you can. I'm just for the sake of consistency, I'm gonna say that you came from the front. Does the lesser restoration cure me, Joe? No, it doesn't. The hell am I infected with? Hey. hey. And there was jungle that dripping aid. sound again. You got jungle aid. And as you get to there, Erd and Shadow Scale are suddenly attacked. Uh, no. By cuteness. Yeah. I was right! Cuteness. You consider those <laughs> cute? I consider anything with scales cute. Oh. And sometimes awesome. Is this considered a surprise round? For them, yes. Nope, I act normally. Surprises don't have any effect on me. How dare you? Ha <laughs> ha! <laughs> oh, sorry. Being normal. Too bad this is a super surprise round. No! Oh my lord. <laughs> Roll the five. I knew about your immunity to surprise <laughs> round and prepared the super surprise <laughs> round. <laughs> they get quadruple damage? <laughs> No. Uh, However, you do have the initiative. <laughs> Gotta roll my initiative in. Exactly. Oh. That one Sorry. does get a surprise around me, Joel, because I can be a surprise. I know. Shadow the one who can't be a shadow scale. There's a feet. Hey. I'll stand between the snake and my friends, and then I will snap the shit on What? Them. You missed one! <laughs> There's one over here! <laughs> you might have that one. Well, I mean, there's only one that I currently be occupied with. I guess we're not friends. <laughs> Multicolored lights! Everyone within 10 feet of me gets extra armor by one. I am shiny! Oh boy! And now Daddy. I will attack the crap out of it. Boy. You hit it! Watch out! Taking out a massive chunk of its flesh. Watch out! Why it again! Oh, it's less. Watch out, bro. Whatever. And it dies. <laughs> And then I will shove it out of the way. <laughs> oh no, I don't have any actions left. I will taunt the snake. <laughs> you taunt the snake. I am smaller, so I wish should be an easier meal, right? <laughs> is that your turn? Well, the snake yeah. doesn't care how small you are. is in the surprise round. Meanwhile, this thing is going to bite. And it successfully bites Erd. What? You beat it 18? Yes. No! He bites you, dealing 15 piercing damage. When suddenly, Shadow Scale, another one comes flying at you! My AC is 20. And another one comes flying at Igris. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> it's insane! <laughs> Yeah, it's stuck into the cobalt pocket. Get him! So the one that came after Igris. What is your armor class, Igris? So with that, it'll be 18. As it springs forward, it hits you, dealing 16 piercing. Meanwhile, the one that went I after... I get an opportunity attack! <laughs> I forgot! Sentinel. Oh, yep. You got this. I remembered I would have attacked the one that attacked her first. Well, you're attacking the one that attacked Igris now. Okay. Well, then I will throw on advantage and smack it with this. And you it. smack it real hard. And you completely chop off its head. I'm trying, guys. <laughs> Adala. Surprised, surprised, surprised. Meanwhile, this one that sprung at Shadow Scale. What is your armor class again? 20. However, as you turned around to face the other one, you, it was not able to change its direction midair, and thus does not get you. Which brings us back to Shadow Scale. I smack him real hard. <laughs> you hit, dealing a mighty blow. You hit it again, dealing another mighty blow, and it dies. All right, I'll stand right here in between all of my comrades. Oh, I'm uh, gonna do something different. No, we'll do something different. <laughs> How is that something different? That's the thing! <laughs> <laughs> no, I think I hit Joe by accident. <laughs> That's fine. No, I was trying to I was trying to move a cord 
And then when I accidentally yanked it, I bumped an entire stack of magic cards and it went flying. Uh, no. That's what I'm trying but not to do. <laughs> if you hit it, and you hit it smack dab in the face, scorching it, and burning it, and it dies. Okay. Uh, and then I'm going to uh, pull out a uh, greater healing potion and drink it. All right. Ooh, 16 Ooh. health. That's nice. That your turn? Um, yeah. Hilda moves forward. I see safe and very hard to kill. Fendal also moves forward. Mm, they are still quite disgusting, though. Yes, sir. So, the walls of this rubble-strewn corridor are carved with serpents, and arrow slits are spaced along them every five feet. Cobwebs fill the arrow slits and hang like drapes from the corridor ceiling. Above the entrance, a stone plaque bears a cuneiform message. I will wait until someone translates it. You found your plaque, you guys. Mm. Professor! This is me. I need to wait for Icarus and the stones. Erd? You don't got the stones to read. Shadow scale? <laughs> I go right pet now. <laughs> I will also wait. Icarus? <sighs> Since the professor's relying on me now. You have the stones. I know you I do. Them. I can tell you don't. <laughs> so you don't have stones. stones. Here's volume one. I will read. Yes, I, will, I will go through them and start trying to decipher. All right, make an intelligence check. Yeah, it's pretty easy to figure out what it says. Uh, it says Moa teaches us the secrets, hide the truth. Oh, now we have a check. Uh, you can find. Uh, I, I, I look for Moa plaques. No. No. Okay. Well, I, I repeat what it says. To hide the secrets and... Wait, what did it say? That Moa teaches us that secrets hide the truth. Okay. Secrets hide the truth. Okay, let's go in. Be my guest. I will... Well, wait, I moved up there, so... That's one, two, three. Yeah, I can. Hilda moves a bit closer, as does Sandala. Yersa? All good so far? Yeah, nothing happens. What do I see inside the thingies? Yeah. Uh, you look through one. Uh, it takes you a few seconds to clear the various cobwebs, but you can make out a room. You can't tell what's in the room, you just can tell there is a room on the other side. I think you can use investigation to look for, like, you know, pressure plates and whatnot. Yeah, there's a little spell to find traps. Now I'm seeing a bunch of crossbows pointing at the pedestal. Yes, you go in there. In the middle of this room, a stone cube rests on a plain stone pedestal. Statues of twelve tribal warriors jut from the surrounding walls, aiming bows at the pedestal. The floor in front of the pedestal bears a mosaic depicting a monstrous serpent constricting a furious monkey. Moss obscures much of the detail, though. I, I can't see her anymore! I'm freaking out! Uh... Can I clean off some of the moss? Yes. You peel back some of the moss and find that there is something written in cuneiform. What's cuneiform? Everything Old Omuan is written in. Oh. Guys, we're going to need the stones again. I'm going to need you within five feet of me. <laughs> do you do anything else? That's all. Professor. We're looking in that direction. Through the arrow slit. You so see a room. Bad. You see a crossbow pointed right at your face. <laughs> Is the room lit or is it dark? It, it is dark. dark. About to shoot you in the face with a cross. <laughs> is there like any pebbles around me on the floor? Oh yeah, there's tons of rubble on the ground. I'm gonna pick up a piece of rubble, cast light on it, and chuck it through. Which room? This one. All right. You chuck a pebble, and you can make out somewhat in the room uh, a statue of some kind of coiled serpent. The room is also filled with cobwebs as well. Okay. Oh, well, this is me. Best friend. All right. Erd, you do anything else? No. I'll hang on the ball. All right. Is that your turn? Yep. Shadow scale? Well, I think I'm going to touch something. What are you going to touch? My best friend, because she was so far away. That was great. Uh, I ain't got nothing to do here. Alright. No yeah. idea what's going on. Igris? <clears throat> gonna jump past the professor and I'll look into this room. Alright. 
Uh, you have dark vision, so you can see there is a statue of a coiled serpent. Hmm. Interesting. As well as a large number of cobwebs. <laughs> okay. Um. So that was ten. Let's see what was I? And then I can. I'm just gonna continue and get squeezed past. I guess I squeeze past them. Technically, I'm on the wall. So. Oh, you're on the wall. Yeah. So limbo underneath third. Yep. And go right here. Am I, are those on the wall or are those on the floor? Those are statues holding them. Oh, so I can't be there. You can be there. It's just you're standing like right next to a statue. Okay. Yep. That's where I'll go. All right. Is uh. Hilda moves up a little bit. Aren't you going to decipher the with the stones? I was about to say that, but Joe spoke because that was. I was going to say, if you want to make a quick intelligence check, you can do it. Okay. Oof. Yeah, it's going to take you a little longer to figure this one out. (sighs) This one's kind of dusty. Yersa? Can I help him? No. Why not? He already made his check. I mean, can I, like, look over his shoulder and see if I can do it? Yeah, you can try. Make an intelligence check. Uh, yeah, you managed to make it out. It says, Death rewards a thief deceived. Truth comes from the serpent's mouth. So what we need is to get into the room with the serpents. Wait, 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 wait. Is there something on the pedestal already? Yeah, there's a cube on the pedestal. Alright, so clearly no, it's touch it. Clearly it's saying that if you take that, that's the wrong thing and you get killed because of mm-hmm. So the real cube's probably in the mouth of one of these statues. Or something like that. Maybe it's inside one of those live snakes. I don't know. You could use your mage hand, couldn't you, to like well, it, you would have to see it. Um. I mean, if I'm back here, if everybody goes out, I could, yeah, use my mage hand to grab this. No, 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 no. I meant, like, inside the serpent's mouth. I mean, did I see rooms. a cube in the serpent's mouth when I looked in there? Not a cube, just for anything. Key. Oh my gosh. You just saw a statue of a serpent. You couldn't make out details. Do you have reduce? You can turn the tiny and you can maybe put me inside the slit. <laughs> I don't know. How small is a tiny person? Um, technically pretty small. I believe tiny becomes like fairy sized. Yeah, you can put me through the hole. <laughs> how many ti- how many casts of reduce do you have? And then you get stuck by the cobwebs. <laughs> well, I could I can uh, first burning hands. Inside there, burn the cobweb. Flood the room. <laughs> well, do you do anything else, Yersa, on your turn? For our the Not right cobweb. this second. Professor. Can I see that this room kind of has that angle down here? Yeah. I want to see if there is, like, any crevices or latches. Make an investigation check. Nothing. So it would be on the inside. But that'll be me. All right. Heard. Was there a statue in here too on this thing, or was it just a relief? Uh, just a relief. Mm-hmm. Unless there's a button right where that snake's mouth is. I don't know. One higher up. Yeah. Just standing on the walls in. Yep. Shadow scale. Clear up the building. No, I can't see her anymore. It's in there. <laughs> there you turn. Be... Yeah. Igris. Oh. I think I'm just gonna stay here for now. Actually, yeah, I'm just gonna stay here for now. All right, Hildegard's gonna wait where she is. Dahl's gonna go see what the professor was looking at. Yersa? How wide are the arrow slits? The arrow slits are six inches wide. Okay, that's doable. I'll turn into a cat. You turn into a cat. And I'm assuming you squeeze in there? Yep. And I'm going to go look at its mouth. You see a statue with a stone cube in its mouth. I can't see her anymore! Oh. Cube <laughs> that we were talking about. Like, how, how big is the cube? The same size as all the other ones you found. Okay. However, the statue is seven feet tall with the cube at the top. I thought you said it was coiled. Can't I just climb it? It is coiled, but it's seven feet tall. I'm a cat. I can climb it. All right. And then I'm going to do that cat thing where it kind of just lightly touches it and then it makes it fall to the floor. All right. 
You do that, and the cube falls to the floor. Okay. Then I'm gonna climb back down. Shattering and pick up the cube. Pieces. And take it back out. How are you carrying the cube again? In my mouth. I can't remember. Are these cubes small enough? That's like literally why I asked how big they were. The cubes? You didn't ask how big the cubes were. Yep, I sure did. Oh, they're only three inches on each side. So, yeah, that's fine. It'll be awkward, but you definitely knew it. I told you the size of the statue. I didn't say anything about the size of the cube. That's why I was confused. That's why you... you no, you answered. They're the same as all the other ones. So I'm like, okay. Yeah. Oh, then yeah. All yeah. Right. You carry it, and you go over there. And I drop it. All right. Make a deck save. Oh, wait. I'm a cat. I have better decks as a cat. Hold on. I mean, it would still be plus two, so. All right. So as you step out with the cube back into the hallway, the uh, floor beneath you suddenly opens up and you fall into a pit. Um... And at the bottom of the pit, there is a weird greenish goo. Ew. <laughs> yeah, don't tell me it's a slide. Wait, she so did. the floor, <laughs> the entire like square fell beneath yes. me with the cube? Then, yes. The cube is down there with you. Okay. And you take 10 acid damage as a cat. I think that reverts you back. Yep. Well, I'm sure Shadow Scale's panicking even more now. How you far down am I? 10 feet. Oh, oh, okay. Professor! I'll kind of make my way around the building. All right. Erd? Hey, or which... Are you, I'm assuming you're still walking on the walls? Yeah. All right. Is that your turn? Yep. Uh, Igris, you suddenly see all the statues animate. Oh, fuck. And suddenly, <laughs> arrows appear in all of their bows. What, uh, what? what is your current armor class? It is, uh... Oh, that, I'm not close enough to... Yeah, so it's 17. All right. Well, five magic arrows being shot from the very statues hit you. Yep. I don't think you got the life for this. You take 23 force damage. I'm downed. <laughs> well, shadow scale. Yeah, yeah, that's uh, that's about it. <laughs> oh. Did you just hear? Ah, thud. I'm oblivious to all of this. You are. Mm. You have no but... idea that any of this is happening. Well, it's like shadow scale sees uh, harmony, or not harmony. <laughs> yep. Just sees the yeah. fall. Yeah, and then sees, you know, arrows just go at the end of the hall, and yep. here's a thud. But Shadowscale, what do you do? Um, I guess I'm tapping down that hole. Alright, make a deck save. Right. Dive down that hole? No, just make a deck save. <laughs> okay. So, another pit opens up right here, and you manage to jump back just in time to not fall into it. So now there are two pits. I'll fly, and then go in the hole that she's in. <laughs> you go all the way down? Yeah. All right, there's green goo everywhere. You go down into the goo. What? Do I see her? Yeah, you see her down there. Mm. She's down there in the goo. I'm going to go pick her Ew. up. Do I have to go in the goo to pick her up? Uh, you want high or low? <laughs> uh, which one of us? You, Shadow Scale. Then we'll do low. You don't have to go in the goo to pick her up. All right. I grab her. All right. And then go back up. All right. I'm going to say that's your turn. I have 120 feet of movement. Yeah, but now you're carrying someone. No, I suppose. Captain. Carrying someone halves your movement. Yep. Igris. Yeah. Making my death safe. Fortunately, I don't know you're down. It's one Hilda. Takes a look in, sees Shadow Scale pulling out Yersa, and assumes everything's okay. Sundala wants to know where the professor's sneaking off to. Yersa, uh, at the start of your turn, all the green goo that covers you continues to eat away at your flesh as you take another seven acid damage. Oh, okay. I'm just gonna. Like, I'm gonna grab the cube quick as he is. Make me up. a dex check. The cube slips through your fingers and stays at the bottom of the pit. I mean, was it like what? It looked like a key, right? Yeah, it was. A, it was a puzzle cube. 
I'll say Shadow Scale, wait, we I need to get back and get that key. Yeah. Hey. But do you do anything else on your turn, Yersa? No. Professor. I'm gonna keep searching along the building, trying to see Nobody if there's any knows. sort of secret bird. You got the wild back on the ground. You do anything else? No. Shadow Scale? This all slowly lower her back down. Alright. And as you do, she's able to just pick up the cube. Yeah. Igris? Or, yeah, I guess you get to rest your move at Shadow Scale. No. Go right back up. And then, how far was the drop? 10. So if I went back up 10, go down 10, so then I'm at 40. 40. You're halved because you're carrying someone. Yeah, then I have 120 feet if I dash, so if I half that, 60. So I have 40 left. All right. Uh, yeah, uh, hold on, let me move. Oh, I guess I technically see him down. Well, yeah, I bring you into this danger. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you bring Yarsa into that room. Figurus makes his death save. Hilda looks curiously as you go back further in. Sandala keeps following the professor. Find anything interesting out here? Not yet. Yersa? Man, right now it looked like Boromir just sitting there. <laughs> <laughs> Lots of heels. Yay! Igris is back up. <gasps> oh, and Yersa <laughs> takes another two acid damage as more of her skin gets eaten away. Don't look so good. I've been worse. Do you do anything else? Nope. Professor? As he continues to searching wander him. around? Yep, keep searching around. Looking for things. Erd? I'm just standing here and always tells you anything. Alright, so Igris. Two arrows come flying at you. Yep. You get hit by both, taking 10 force damage. What is your armor class, Yersa? Uh, 16. Three arrows hit you as you take 13 force damage. And a whole bunch of arrows fly at shadow scale, and not a single one actually manages to land. <laughs> <laughs> this is ridiculous. I rolled six attacks, and those are just eight, 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 eight. Jeez. It's 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 all eights and then one nine. It reminds me of that one game I was playing as a soft creature. Sounds like you didn't have enough appeal guardsmen. Apparently not. Shadow scale. I fly her him. Drop her off. Alright. Do you do anything uh, else? I technically have thirty movement left. You fly back in. I fly back in to try and draw some fire from Icarus. All right, Igris. Um, hmm. Pick me up and use me as a seal. <laughs> <laughs> just holds, the, holds the little kobold in front of her. Just watch out for the holes. Try just looking at stuff. Uh, I don't know if I could do anything, but I am going to. Now, are there like. Um, spots in between the, like, is this spot like a bar there, or is there just no yeah, there floor? Are. There are, like, very small ledges in between the pits. You know, <clears throat> I'm getting out of here. I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to try to uh, jump across. All right. From where? Well, I'm going to move here. Make a deck save. Set decks. <laughs> Another pit opens up and you fall down. Hello, darkness, my own. <laughs> you take six bludgeoning as you hit the ground and land in green goo. And you take four acid as it starts to eat at your skin. Guess who's down again? Yeah, and you're going to take continuous <laughs> damage even if I pull you out of there. That means oh. I take two fails. I, Yeah, it's like I stepped on that. I'm like, oh, shit, no. You're not technically dead yet. Well. Uh, Hildegard is concerned, but she's not exactly an acrobat, so she doesn't want to try her chances. Zendala keeps following the professor. Yersa, you notice that the second you got outside, the cube turned into green smoke. <laughs> what the heck? Also, all the green goo on you just kind of evaporated. Okay, so I wasn't... Here was my original plan, in case... Any of you think I'm, I was 
doing something stupid again. I was going to take the cube from in there and like try to swap it out with the one up there, but that it just it thought I was stealing it anyway. So, I don't know. <laughs> Dumb. Let's wait for the professor to figure out what he giving myself healing. 3 net ones. Nice. Wow. Do you do anything else? Professor? As he continues his nice little stroll around the building. I mean, I'm, 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 I'm searching around, man. I know. Heard. He's gonna stand here. Alright. Well, Shadow Scale, you get shot. A lot. Yeah, I imagine. <laughs> what is your armor class again? 18? 19. 19. Let me just do a quick double check. So you get hit by five arrows as you take 29 force damage. Painful on you guys. It is your turn. Go down and get Ingress. <laughs> Go down and grab Ingress. Hey, up. Oh. You want high low. Oh, fuck. Yeah, I, would I? Fell, I would have fell in, you know, lay down. So. <laughs> you don't need to go into the goo oh, again. Oh, thank god. I pick him up and get him. Fuck <laughs> out. What are you doing? Yeah. <laughs> uh, so technically 15, so that was here. Go down, so 10 more up to 25. I should have 35 movement left. I bring him back outside, lay him down. All right, the second you lay him down, all the green goo evaporates. So I take a post-it and heal him before it's his turn. <laughs> I don't think I have any action. Next. <laughs> oh, no! How about you Because you didn't take any action. Because what would it... Wait, what damage to knock you down? It was force damage. Oh no! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Wait, is it a bonus action to heal someone? No, it's an action to heal someone else. No! <laughs> bonus action no. to heal yourself! <laughs> oh fuck! <laughs> but you just gotta get past a 10. <laughs> All right, hell in my turn. How many death saving throws is he at? He's two fails because he took damage. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, the higher than ten. Oh! Oh! Jesus! Oh, <laughs> 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 that was intense. <laughs> and it's like the uh, the dice I have on. Uh, D and D Beyond is the uh, Vecna one, so it's oh, an yeah. eyeball, so I don't see it until. <laughs> it pops up. Oh, Looks like I'm not rid of you yet. Hilda comes over to try and treat. So you'd be like here then. Hilda comes over to try and treat your wounds. And that one crushes your ribs. <laughs> <laughs> Don't say that. Oh no, she's not trained in medicine. Oh god. She doesn't know what to do. Scientologist continues to wander along. Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah. She's not familiar with tiefling biology. I think everyone that was in that mine with his pants on is pretty familiar. I'm <laughs> 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 <I'm still laughs> dying! <laughs> I'm, I'm just gonna lay here. <laughs> <laughs> we'll roll down the stairs. <laughs> <laughs> roll down. <laughs> you, you hear the clatter of his horns as it lands on each step. Wait, when we leave. <laughs> it is lava. <laughs> it needs lava. <laughs> um, could he eat it and still be immune for damage? It does? Were you going to do anything else, Yorsha? Oh, Listen okay. to dogs bark. Erd. Would they be in the cell? There is on the pedestal in there? Yeah. There's a cube on it. I use my hand. Grab it. Oh. <laughs> that is within range. <laughs> it is. Pick it up with the mage hand. Bring it back. <laughs> you bring it back to yourself? Yeah. Alright. You bring it back, and the moment it goes beyond the doorways, it turns to green goo gas. Take over the plan. <laughs> Shadow scale. Mm. How many spells do you use, Kelly? What are you thinking? I can touch people and give them their spell slots back. Oh. <laughs> like, just like, what level spell slots? Three and below. Yeah, I could use some. It's a random chance, though, so... Touch. I will touch. touch. And you shall feel energy flowing in me. Level First one level. spell slot. 
Do you have a level one to recover? I do. All right. It wasn't worth it. Do you do anything else, Shadow Scale? That takes a full action. But I will make him switch spots with me. Just in case those arrows start coming out here. One random lucky arrow flies all the way out. Puts a fish in the forehead. <laughs> but it's your turn, Igris. Uh, freaking want to blow up that room. Throws a fireball into the room. Um. Just kind of... Arrows in my bed. I, I am just going to uh, cure wounds myself. Save and heal him. And then. <clears throat> I am actually going to just go and sit in the corner. I'm just like, no. Hilda comes over and checks on you. Done with this. Dala, why didn't she? She's just hanging out with the professor. Yes, Okay, I'm gonna look into the mouth of this one. There is nothing in it. Okay, just that I looked, but uh, I I don't know. I'm just gonna take a break too, I guess. Professor. Still searching for any sort of entrances. No, you don't find anything. Jeez, how big is the building? <laughs> I've gone down like three times since you've been walking around. <laughs> <laughs> you usually stroll just... <laughs> 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 He'd just be a torso at this point. He'd come back and his legs would be gone. If we were doing Ro- Joe's I injury know, system. We... <laughs> About 70 feet. He's gone 170 feet. <sighs> There you go. But it is your go, Erd. I'm gonna stay where I am. Where I go. Shadow scale. Uh, I guess I'll suckle on one of these sweet, sweet potions of evil. Do you do that. 2d4 plus 2. Regular. Yeah. And that'll be my turn. Yeah, good is. I'm gonna get back up. Gonna l- just kinda look down the hallway. You see three pit holes in the floor. And the cube sitting on the pedestal in that one room. And there's a cube in this pet- on a pedestal? Wait, so the cube, like... Because Brian took that one out. Yep. And now it's back. Yeah, yeah it turns into smoke. Is the other one back? Oh, no, you can't see that one. Hmm. I'm just going to wait here, thinking, looking down, pondering. I'm going to get shot by an arrow. <clears throat> the guard will wait, ah. and I'll choose to follow the professor. Yes. I'm just gonna sit down and pet my bunnies for a minute. And the professor gets to come around the corner. Everyone looking worse to wear. Pretty much. Hi. Professor, you find several of the people, specifically Irsa and Igris, to some extent Shadow Scale, looking a little bruised and battered. I will turn to Hildegard and ask her what happened in the few seconds that I was gone. Well, a number of traps went off within the shrine, it would seem. And Yersa tried to get the cube, as did Erd, but it didn't work either time. Oh, great. It wasn't my fault. I saved them. I never said it was your fault, no, did Don't I? be mad at me! Do I look mad at you? You always look mad! <laughs> T. <laughs> but that'll be me. All right. Give us a big old smile. Erd. And your shadow skill. Uh, I can't fit through those cracks to see if there's something else in the other one. If only you were tiny. No. Yeah. So I'll touch your stuff again. A level two spell slot is restored for you as I pour more energy into you. Mm-hmm. That'll be my turn. All right, Icarus. <sighs> um, Shadow Scale. Yeah. I can turn you tiny if you can fly into that other room or go into that other room and see if there's anything in the mouth of that statue. Okay. No wave of my hand, I cast Reduce on Shadow Scale. And now Shadow Scale is tiny. Ready for my bug collection. <laughs> <laughs> I will be the queen. <laughs> the queen of the bugs. <laughs> but yes, Shadow Scale becomes tiny. 
<laughs> I could do so many things right now. <laughs> do you have anything else, Igris? I'm just gonna stand there and just keep looking down. I Wait, could I... ride the rabbits. You <laughs> <laughs> <I> could. <laughs> Hildegard will wait. Sandala waits, kind of looks with pity at everyone else. Yorsa, you have a very tiny shadow scale next to you now. What is your health at shadow scale? 47 out of 69. Okay, you're fine. Yeah, I'm doing pretty good. What is your plan with being tiny? To go in the other room. You you know, I, you. I think what, like, I don't know. I, I don't think this has worked so far. Mm -hmm. But you do you. We need to keep trying. We cannot oh. fail. Do you do anything else, Yersa? No. The lives of many rest on our shoulders. Professor? Have you cleared the cobwebs in that room? Nope. This be the room we're going into. Okay. And we'll float down. <laughs> and do grinning hands since there. Actually, let All me right. check what's... I can't do burning hands. Never mind. Wish I had a voice modulator to make my voice really tiny. That's right, kick in the nuts, sweetheart. Well, you're not here to kick me in the nuts, now, are you? Well, you have our people there. Um, That'll be my roommate for satisfaction. <laughs> I guess I'll just fire a firebolt at the cobweb. All right. Yeah, you burn a fair bit of the cobwebs with a firebolt. I'm just reduced in size. I still have all my stats. They are cobwebs. I have. They must have catch bugs, like you. I really wish I could make my voice tiny right now. <laughs> <laughs> but that's just me. Alright. Well, Erd. I'm gonna stand here. Nope. Shadow scale. Now that you are small. I'm tiny. And then... But you do have disadvantage on any strength <laughs> check. Unless, of course, I rage! <laughs> and then it's just a normal roll. <laughs> So wait, what is, what is your character? Uh, how big is your character again? Like regularly? Yeah. Uh, You're only like two foot something, aren't you? Yeah. yeah, I am two foot two. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! You're currently only like three inches tall. <laughs> Because you be <laughs> so you're saying that they're not gonna be able to bring that cube out. Because <laughs> well, she becomes one eighth her normal size. I can still lift it. I'm still <laughs> tiny and strong. <laughs> it's about the same size as you. Yeah. It doesn't you increase do it. <laughs> weight. I know. I'll go fly up there and pick up the cube with my muscles. You fly up to the top of the statue and pick up the three-inch cube that is now just as big as you. <laughs> and then I'll fly back out. You <laughs> see a little cube flying out. <laughs> and quickly realize that Shadow Scale is holding it on the other side. Does it poof and the smoke again? As you get out, no, it does not poof. Yes! Please turn me back. <laughs> <laughs> I get I'm probably I get I'm probably cuter this pocket size with them bigger. Random bird comes flying down, swoops and grabs her. <laughs> you mean the only food to fight back gets the bird. <sighs> I mean yes, like as Shadow Scale comes out with a thing, I'm just gonna stop my concentration on it. I was gonna say, yours says instincts suddenly kick in. <laughs> but yes, you return to your normal size. Mm -hmm. And you have the cube. We did it! Yeah. Hooray! Oh, let's leave this. Therapy now. <laughs> yeah, I am glad we're not playing on, you know, Joe's hardcore rules, because I would be. <laughs> You just, you <laughs> quite, the cripple. <laughs> quite the cripple. I've I've what gone down three times now. Something like that. Tyler, the professor probably would not have survived if you were doing that. Yeah. Yep. So we're gonna make the long trip going back over. Yes, you step out and you now have the key. Where do you go now? Well back across and then Alright, how are you getting across? That's the plan. Yeah, Neagle, go! 
I, will probably I already do. used my two um, yeah. druid things, so I'd have to take a rest. Oh my so god, I'm here. We don't get uh, back across. I was gonna say, somebody should go check on um, um, old man uh, Wilkins. I mean, if I can just, I can do a short rest and then we can go back to our camp. I could do a short rest. I'll fly over to him and take a short rest over. I can't. I'm too afraid to leave here, son. So we're doing a short rest? Do you do a short rest there? Yep. So that's what I'm asking. What time of day is it? Uh, about three in the afternoon. Yeah, well, we can do a short rest. I'll fly over to Orvix first, tell him. Or no, I will stay <laughs> over there. I'll be nervous, but I'll be fine. I'm gonna roll a couple uh, hit dice. Alright. You all take your short rest. An hour passes. Where do you go? What do you do now? I'll turn back into an eagle and transport everybody over. Alright. Well, you take some time, but you get everyone over. And you're now back on the main portion of the city. Well, I need a nap. Clear a building, set up camp for the night. Yeah. Alrighty, which building do we want? It's right here. Let's see how, yeah, let's see how that one looks. Alright. You go into that ruin? Yep. I shall step well, in. Look in the door first. Alright, you look in the door and you see a ruined building. Any vines? Hmm, I mean, there's random plant growth. Some vines. Hmm. I'll step in first. You step in. Make a dexterity saving throw. Yeah! <laughs> Oh no, my <laughs> failures are coming back. The floor <laughs> collapses and you fall 20 feet into a basement level. I had words. Taking 9 bludgeoning damage. Are you all right down there? Peachy. Okay, I don't think this would. As you land, make a deck save. <laughs> <laughs> oh jeez. Fall into another one. You barely <laughs> catch yourself as that floor collapses into even deeper a sub-basement. Jeez. No! Oh, the it's sexier the dungeon! <laughs> no worries, there's another no. dungeon below it. <laughs> Second run? Um, it's the mythical second dungeon. What about the third dungeon? That's just the dungeon. It doesn't exist. <laughs> Make a deck safe. I'm fine! But make a perception roll, Shadow Scale. <laughs> no! <laughs> well, you don't see anything. I mean, can I lean over the hole and at, like ask if she's okay? <laughs> yeah, she's 20 feet down. And yeah, so now that I'm looking down into the hole, do I see anything? Make a perception roll at disadvantage. You see that down in the sub basement, cowering and hiding amongst the rubble are a number of veggie pygmies. On the basement below me? Yes, in the sub-basement. Shadow scale. There's pygmies in the sub-basement. What? Oh, there's tiny people. I'll be right back. I wait for them. I wait for I say hi. But yes, you find a group of veggie pygmies. You wave to them. Sure do. And one of them steps out and it's kind hard. of very, very cautiously waves back. What the heck? What? Oh, it was a robot. Techno. Yeah. I, oh! I forgot that when I press my buttons... How, how far is the drop down? 20 feet. Jesus Christ. He almost fell 40 feet. <laughs> well, I can't fly anymore, so I guess I'm jumping down! <laughs> You jump down. Well, is there is there like a way I can climb down? No, but you could make an acrobatics track to try and like tuck and roll. Okay, I'll do that. Alright, I'm back. So you tuck and you roll, and you manage to break your fall. So you take no damage, and all the veggie pygmies kind of cower back in fear again. I will sit down, and I will. Motion for one to come over. What is everybody else doing during this? I mean, I still have my 50 feet of rope. I will offer assistance as needed. So everybody else is just waiting up top? Yeah. Unless we want to make camp down there. 
Well, while the rest of you are sitting around, one of the little veggie pygmies steps out and moves up to Shadow Scale. She appears to be offering you some kind of nut. I will take it, and then I will use the endless water decanter, or decanter of endless water. Geyser. <laughs> and do scream. Pour some water out. You pour some water out? Yeah. Give to them. All right. Uh, how are you pouring it out? Like, any way specific, or...? Well, it goes for a bit, so I'm sitting down, so I guess I just kind of in my hand, and then my other hand after I'm taking the nut from her. All right. I take the nut. And you just kind of start pouring it on the ground? I guess... I'm, uh, I guess, uh... Yeah, I don't have any cups, do I? Mm-hmm. I have my shield, I could turn it... Is it like a flat, straight surface shield, or is it like more of a curved... It's curved. All right, I'll pour it into my shield. All right. You pour some in your shield, and you see others come out to join you and take interest. I don't know if they drink or eat or if they just exist, but they're so cute. That was okay. It's okay. <laughs> they yeah, have them. The one. They come out and they just kind of. They, they take, you know, they drink some of the water. They don't drink it, they like take it into their root systems. But other than that, they just kind of all stand around, look at you, some of them start to like poke your equipment that you have on you. <laughs> I hold out a finger for them to touch. They, uh, they touch your finger. They seem... I mean, they don't seem like they've never seen a kobold before, but they don't seem like they've ever seen one that's just been like willing to come and hang out with them, so to speak. Well, guess I'm camping here. <laughs> I will float down there now. The professor floats down, and they all start running and cowering again and hiding. That's okay. He's a friend. They peek from around corners and look. Once the professor gets closer, I'll pat his leg. Say, friend. <laughs> Some of them exchange a few glances with each other, but once again, the same female-looking one that came earlier comes out again. She seems to be the brave one. And as she comes out, she holds up some kind of seed to the professor. The same one that I have, or...? No, it's a different one. You got a nut. Oh yeah, I did get a nut. Well, I will accept the seed from her. She kind of just stands there looking expectantly. Gotta give her something back to you. Yes. Give them line. <laughs> oh no, man! Oh! Why are you making a move on the plot time in front of people? What? How? Why are you getting them drunk? That? Wouldn't you want to see a bunch drunk. of bitch? Why? Wouldn't you want to see a bunch of them drunk? Why would I want Because them drunk? you know what happens to me <laughs> with vegetables. <laughs> 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 My character's in danger. Um, I will actually hand her the scroll of protection from undead. You hand it the scroll? Yes. It, uh, it unfolds it, and then it kind of holds it, like, you have to realize that, like, the scroll is roughly the same size as it. Yes, I realize that. It, it unfolds the scroll, and it kind of looks at it, and it, like, looks at the back side, and then it kind of, like, wraps itself in the scroll. Yes. I would like to pet her. Tell it protection from dead. It, she cocks her head. I don't think they really understand this. It's more or less I a don't think they are. movement or picture-based language. We got to go on. I'm just gonna sit down. You're just sitting down this. up there. Up there. Oh, sorry. Oh, right, you guys you know must what? have said that. I was probably gone when you guys said you went down. So. Yes. I guess I should point that. I guess I wasn't thinking about how small Shadow Scale is. They they're about half the size of Shadow Scale. They're about a foot tall or so. One foot four inches. So yes, actually wow. I would go down there because I did not know you guys went down there. It's only Shadow Scale and the Professor right now. Yeah. But I will motion to us, to my party and the ones above, and then make, you know, clap my hands together, put them against my face, like a sleeping kind of pose, and lay down. Yes, that's Jimmy Dan. Okay. I divide gravity. They uh, several of them just 
specifically the one that came out, they just keep cocking their head, looking at you confused. Close my eyes. <laughs> but yes, I am going to jump down. Yeah. All right. All right. All right. I don't well, know what's um, going what? on! What? Satan just came through the floor! <laughs> I was gonna say the third dungeon. It's the third dungeon. <laughs> you, you done, Joe? Yeah, you managed to land. And, uh, oh, Joe, your voice Joe, modulator's on. You, you, yeah. you currently demonized. <laughs> what? Oh, 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 what's up? Satan came through the floor! Yeah, he did! <laughs> I thought you were referencing the fact that the tiefling jumped down. Oh no! <laughs> he <laughs> literally <laughs> was like, dude! Hey, am I gonna have to make a uh, check because it is 20 feet down? Yeah, oh, acrobatics check. Yeah. No, it's... Well, Do you not understand down. what I was saying? No! no you're like... <laughs> 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 no, and it's more than 20 feet down. It was 20 feet me down. Yeah, it's it 40 feet down, down from the top. Oh, okay. Well, as I jump, I'm going to cast Feather Fall on me. Oh, so you just don't take anything anyway? <laughs> yeah, and I just kind of like lay on, just like, thud, with a little... Well, all but the one that's currently in front of you run away again, but the one that is in front of you doesn't run away, kind of walks back again to one of the crevices, and then comes back out with, this time, a fruit, and holds it up to Icarus. Oh, uh, uh thank you. I will take it, and... Uh, I, I will pull out a uh, bloodstone. Okay. <laughs> oh, gave me something, so I'm gonna give it something. Yes. All right. So you t give it the bloodstone, and it uh, it looks at it, kind of like looks you know at the different sides, looks around at it, and it goes back to its crevice, and then it drags out the scroll that the professor gave, and it sets the bloodstone on the scroll, and then wraps the bloodstone up in the scroll. <laughs> I just give him a small little chuckle. Yeah, he's a cool little dude. Well, like, I just give him a thumbs up. Like maybe our druid could probably actually speak to these guys. But then you see, uh, after you see that, a count, like two more run up to Igris holding up fruits as well. Okay. I mean, I they, will. They want the shinies. <laughs> I pull out a shiny well, cold coin. Well, I I pull out. I'll take the three fruit and I'll pull out the three vials of the uh, flail snail that I have that are a little shiny. Oh, they opened it. Those would have solidified game. by now, wouldn't they? Yeah, yep. they would have. So now they're just vials full of, you know, hard... Like glass. Yeah. Now they're dummy vials. They, uh, they take them and they start like squeezing the corks like they really like the texture of the cork and then they, like, they, they stick their entire arm into the vial like they're wearing it. I was gonna say, they probably couldn't stick it that far. Oh yeah, no, no, because it's full. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> exactly. Now the question is, would it solidify? And would they be able to slide out, essentially, like a piece of glass that is shaped like the vial? That'd be up to you. I'm pretty sure it would slide out. Yeah, I think it would. So they slide out, and they just get this vial-shaped piece of glass. And they, once they, yeah, they start, like, looking at it, and... You know, they seem intrigued, and they go back to their little crevices and put them away. Also, you are familiar with the fruit. They have I given am? you now three dancing monkey fruits. <laughs> now I have. But didn't you say there were three of them that came up to me after the first one? No, two came up after the first one. So now you oh. have three fruit. Oh, please! I'm gonna make those. more juice. Because <laughs> <laughs> no, I have a bunch of empty vials, so. Well, I'm going to sit down and begin writing in my journal. Alright. I my way down to the walls. Walking outside the walls. You walk down the walls, and once again, the most of the other ones hide, except for the main one that seems unbothered. Uh, as you come as you come down, Erd, once again, the main one goes back into its little crevice, and then it comes out with a bottle, and it hand holds it up to you. Yeah. And I, I pull out a jar of bugs. A jar of bugs? Yes. Alright, You. Uh, it gives you the bottle with some kind of liquid in it, and then it seems really excited that it has bugs. Like, it immediately opens the jar and just pours the bugs all over itself. <laughs> oh. 
I mean, a lot of the bugs just crawl or fly away, but it it come seemed really to happy. Yeah, I was gonna say a bunch of them probably come back to Erd, but I don't know. It really it really was happy that it got bugs for some reason. Uh, yeah, you you recognize what you got? You got a you got a healing potion. Oh, okay. is the only one who's still up there than Yersa? Yeah, I mean, how big Plus is how big is the area down there? It's and a why house. are they all down there? The hall, the basement. It's the entire basement. It's a basement. I mean, the are basement. there stairs to go like up? If you were to go into the house, you might find them. Dear but... gosh, I'm gonna go into the house and look for the stairs. <laughs> I don't need right. stairs. I just <laughs> you walk into the house, and after a few minutes, you eventually find the stairs and walk all the way down into the first basement, and then you walk around in that basement file until you find a hatch with a ladder leading to the sub basement. Good gravy. Yeah, I'm gonna take that route. And once again, several of them run and hide, except for the main one. I'm gonna pull out a spring of mistletoe and give it to him. Well, the main one takes the mistletoe and is quite interested because they've never seen mistletoe. They're from the jungle. Yep. And so comes back with a really nice stick. Nice. <laughs> I'm pretty happy with the stick. I will now play my loot. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Performance roll! I'm gonna join her. I'm gonna play my drum. You have instrument too. I have a drum. Performance oh. rolls! <laughs> <laughs> Never played my drum ever. Just boost them. Shadow Scale's actually doing okay. And so is Erd. And at that, they, uh... They all seem quite happy with this. And they do weird little Ewok dances, basically. And what are our NPCs doing with all this? Eventually, Hilda and Zandala come down, and Hilda is pleasantly surprised and thinks it's cute. And Zandala just kind of looks around and shrugs. Again, they try to give uh, Hilda, they try to give her fruit and offer Zandala stuff. Zandala does not take the fruit. But Hilda does, and she pulls out a small little blue sapphire. And again, several more come over to Hilda and try giving her fruit. But she has no more sapphires to give. So she just gives up, like, each one. She gives a silver coin. A silver piece. Alright. I think we make camp down here. I think we got more bugs to make. Yeah, vote. I, I want to. <laughs> I got two more jars. I just right. remembered I got that book of jungle flora. So I could look up your nut and my seed. Can you do that? Certainly will. All right, you look them up. So, uh, Shadow Scale was given a waka nut. It is a nut that rattles when shaken, and when you do that, it sheds bright light for ten feet and then dim light for another ten. What? <laughs> hey! Nut. <laughs> what does my stick do? <laughs> It's a really nice stick. Yeah. It's a really nice stick. You can pretend to have a cool sword or... Like, I'm still really happy with it, but I just wanted to make sure it wasn't going to, like, do something nuts like the nut. Um, the, uh, the seed is for a manga tree. Or a manga bush, I should say. So hey. when planted, it, you'd be able to grow a manga bush. And specifically, manga is known for having... The uh, leaves having healing properties, so you could literally, if you're an alchemist, you could use the manga leaves to potentially make healing potions. Nice. <laughs> yes, I uh, could. Magic awareness to see if magic is coming from your stick. <laughs> you gonna do that? Yep. Yep. The stick is magic. Ah! It must actually be a wand. No. Say, so, yeah, I'll. I'll uh... If we're gonna stay here, I'll ritual cast identify. All right. I think we'll take our long rest here, sleep amongst the pygmies, as long as they don't try and crawl into our noses. It, you uh, cast identify. It is a wand of smiles. It is a wand of smiles. It has three charges. While holding it, you can use an action to expend one of its charges and target a humanoid within 30 feet of you. The target must succeed a DC 10 charisma saving throw or be forced to smile for one minute. Gosh, maybe you should use that of the professor. I'm sorry, could you repeat all of that? It is a wand. Here, I'll actually put it in 
I don't want to get on Trent's wall from the scowling. <laughs> yep, I'm immediately going to try and cast it on the professor. <laughs> Why are save? we casting it on the professor? <laughs> Make a curse. Because you're save. always grumpy. <laughs> yes! <laughs> she starts to smile for one minute. All I can see is just like one of them like really bad fake smiles. It's like, yeah. <laughs> Basically, you just hit me with the Joker's laughing gas. <laughs> yep. You're so much prettier when you smile. And if it ever transforms. <laughs> so it just keeps oh going God. between. <laughs> <laughs> How do I know if it transforms or not? You roll. If you oh. roll a one, when you use all your charges, you roll oh, a d20. Oh, I see that now, I see that now. Well, this has been eventful. And we will end there with that long rest. <laughs>